What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ben. So when it comes to macOS Sequoia, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a new software update and as you can see right here, this is macOS Sequoia 15.3.1 it's a point update or a double pointed update and for me here if i click on the more info tab right there you can see alongside this because i hadn't updated this mac mini in a while i have final cut pro x supplemental content along some pro video formats that you can see right there but the update of mac with sequoia 15.3.1 on my m4 base model mac mini comes in at 3.53 gigs and that's not all that apple released today you can see some double pointed updates were actually released alongside this such as iOS 18.3.1 and I associated iPadOS version. We have iPadOS 17.7.5, macOS 15.3.1 of course this is the video for that. We have VisionOS 2.3.1 and watchOS 11.3.1. Most of these updates I do cover here on the channel at Halfman Half Tech so if you want to keep up to date then definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out. In most cases when we have double pointed releases such as these we at times have like a concurrent beta that's being tested by Apple but because we haven't seen Mac OS 15.4 the first developer beta or public beta yet this is the current latest version and build number that's currently available so whether you have developer enrollment or public beta enrollment you'll still be able to see this update because this is the current latest version but we could be seeing mac os 15.4 as soon as uh, later this week or maybe early next week but let me quickly update my m4 mac mini to this new update and then we're gonna see what are the new features and changes that this software has to offer if any just like that my device is now up to date if we go into the system settings right here and then go to where it says storage just to see the new software changes that this update has you can see mac os itself is taking 19.98 gigs and if we click on the info tab right there you can see the build number for version 15.3.1 the build that we have on file is 24d70 and apple intelligence is actually taking up a staggering 9.2 to nine gigs which is actually more than what i used to test my other beta updates machine the m1 pro macbook pro so maybe this is because i need to enable and try out some of the apple intelligence features but i thought you know for an update of this size it wasn't going to take this much but i want to show you something because if i pull up my notifications tab right here there was a pop-up screen that came up that talked about apple intelligence and image playground as well as gen emoji but for some reason i'm not able to duplicate that pop-up screen it was one that would come up when the notifications would disappear so i would hide the notifications like this and then there would be a pop-up right there but for some reason i can't be able to duplicate it but it's an FYI just so you know as this is a double pointed update like I mentioned before it doesn't have a lot of things to offer but one of the new things that you might want to check if you are a person that had enabled or disabled Apple intelligence and Siri settings is to check this section right here where it says Apple intelligence if you had disabled it there's a high possibility that it might be enabled so if you want to turn it off then you can turn it off in that section right there the full installer also is available for this update and is live and if you want to capture it and export it to a drive or a usb you have the ability to do that i wanted to also show you my safari version you can see it it's version 18.3 of course and the build number we have is 20620.2.4.11.5 according to the release notes of this update apple mentions that this update provides important security fixes and is recommended for all users something that i wanted to highlight for you for other mac os releases that were released alongside this for mac os sonoma 14.7.4 and mac os ventura 13.7.4 is that they actually went straight to the public release this time skipping the rc version or the release candidate version so that's something that's kind of unique it's not something that we see or like on a daily basis 
when Apple releases software updates, but it's just something I thought I should share. A bug that's still existing that quite a number of people are not happy about, especially those that have the Canon's R5 Mark II camera. You can see here, it still hasn't fixed the photos archive issue and there is no raw editing capabilities even with this update so if you waited for this update thinking it's the one that's gonna patch that issue for you well unfortunately at this point in time it seems like apple hasn't addressed the issue yet when it comes to the notification summaries of mac os and apple intelligence you can see here notification summaries this still has the disclaimer that summaries may contain errors and at the same time if you are trying to summarize notifications that pertain to entertainment softwares or application or those that pertain to news you won't be able to summarize those notifications as they are temporarily disabled and with this update that is the case i opened up my messages and you can see i have a new pop-up screen that tells me all about shared with you right there and you can see here if i go to the next page it tells me shared with you in photos and if i click on the next page right there you can see pins where you can pin messages these i believe were existing when it comes to gen emoji i want to try it out right here so if i click on this gen emoji icon you can see the new pop-up screen that i have that pertains to gen emoji and there's a pop-up that's telling me about and, you know expressing yourself and you personalizing your emojis and using gen emoji like emojis and if i click continue right there you can see the screen pops up right here and i'll just drag this to the side and then i'll do the quick sequence again just to see if it's quicker because on my other device i was having issues so i put the prompt an egg wearing a hat and you can see boom it works pretty good i can go to the next one and you can see the colorful hat that we have right here we have the santa hat we have you know tuck which is good and it seems to have fixed an issue where my emojis would load unendlessly or without having any real success and it's actually prompting faster results which i really like I put a red car in white snow and you can see it's generated really quick actually. So if I go to the next page, it looks good. And you can see the red car right there. I can uh, select the gen emoji right there and you can see in messages it adds it. If I click enter, boom, it sends it to me, which is something that's actually good. Now, if we open image playground right there, you can see I have a new pop-up screen as well. And it's telling me about image playground and you can use your imagination. These are things that people that are on other versions of mac os have been using and seeing but if i click continue right there it's pretty much the same outline i put the prompt a macbook pro on a blue desk and unable to use that description i put the prompt a blue laptop on top of a car and you can see what it's generated right there i can go to see other variations of the same prompt and it's actually not the greatest in my opinion but it's much faster compared to what i was experiencing on my m1 pro macbook pro which is really good now when it comes to performance you can see i did do a quick geekbench score after i updated to mac os 15.3.1 with this same build number right here and for single core i got a score of 3749 and for multi-core 14811 and it's pretty good actually comparing to the averages for the m4 base model mac mini so that's how this update is for me when it comes to battery and other performances you know this is a plugged in device a mac mini but let me know if you've been using this on your other devices such as your macbook pro macbook air or other devices that you carry around and let me know how good or how bad the battery life has been for you but other than that this is how this update is doesn't have much to offer does seem to at least improve image playground and so on but we are looking forward to new hardware possibly a new iPhone SE being announced as early as tomorrow and then hopefully later on in that week or the week after we'll get to see Mac OS Sequoia 15.4 the first beta and I will be covering it here on the channel and if you want to see that definitely do hit like and subscribe and I'll see you when the update drops. My name is Ben and I'm signing off.